guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be prepping some ammonite shark. I literally love this ammonite model. I'm, I just use it all the time. So this is what an ammonite looked like. I'm sure many of you are aware but if not, ta-da! So they were these kind of squid-like creatures which is pretty cool I think because their shell definitely resembles that of a snail but they weren't. So just wanted to clear that up right at the start apparently. Anyway, we're going to be doing some more of the crushed red iridescent ammonites. Now I have prepped one piece that I found from there and they went kind of like a lovely deep brown colour and they were a really beautiful piece. I can just show you anyway. Um, so if you didn't watch that video, I shall link it down below so you can go check it out. So this is how it turned out. So they're very pretty, but I'm hoping to find some of the more brighter red ones because when I was finding these pieces and the sea was going over them, they had this gorgeous red shell colour. Now I don't know if it was a mixture of the salt water and the sun doing that, or maybe the colours have just changed, but I'm hoping some of them will still have that like pop because it was so beautiful. Like they're beautiful nonetheless, but I, I'm looking for that real like, mm, mm. I posted a picture on my Instagram, so if you want to see what I'm talking about, it will be down below. Just it you probably won't have to scroll that far I didn't post it that long ago so they're very beautiful so I'm hoping I can get one that stays this beautiful red color that is the goal so we're using Paraloid a paintbrush and my specimen so this is the one I'm starting with um, so there are some on the back so I'm gonna have to be paraloiding the front and the back on this one because this is the one that I think is gonna be more red um, so if I just move out you can see it so it's already got a bit of red to it and then you can see on the back here, there was one there, but it's no longer there, but there is one there. So I'll paraloid this side at first, see if we're dealing with something lovely. And then I can always paraloid the back as well. But I think that's that one's going to be the lovely one. And then we've got this one. So again, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful colour shell, whether it's going to be a red or a deep. Although actually it kind of has red to it, this one, when I like tilt it. You can kind of see it, maybe, maybe, maybe. We're gonna put some Paraloid on it and see. And then I've got this one, again, these are looking very dried out. So when I found these on the beach, like pretty much all the ones that I was finding, like they had a pop, but um, I don't know, when I, they've just, <laughs> they all look so dull and sad now, but I'm hoping I'll give them a bit of a new lease of life with a fresh coat of Paraloid. That is the plan. We'll just have to wait and see. But um, I just thought I would give you the before of them all. We're doing quite a few because it doesn't take me long to paint this paraloid on and I'm just trying to find the gem because I know I found some gems. Now there's one on the back here. This one reminds me of a doorstop. I wouldn't use it as a doorstop obviously, but you know. And then we've got some in here as well. So let's just flip you over and get paraloid in. Okay, so it's kind of like a conveyor belt of fossils right now. So I'm going to start with... So I go right to left and left to right. Let's start with this one because I'm excited to see how this one turns out. What just fell off? I think that's from the underside. Oh god, that is so fragile. Right, should I pull it out? I probably shouldn't be pulling it out. I pulled it out. Okay, we're making a mess. That's... Oh god. Look, it's completely cracked down the edge there. Right, let's press you in. Let's see if Paraloid does the job, otherwise that one's going to need super glue. Right, I'm just going to clean it. I hope you guys can see this. Right, let's get some of this. It's going to need super glue. Oh, my hair's gone in the paraloid. That is not good. I really need to learn to tie my hair up, but I just, my hair just does its thing. Right. Okay, we paraloided that one up. I think I'm gonna have to like, I don't wanna have to paraloid around it because it's got the lovely colors in it, but that is just, I mean, that's just, let's just take that bit out. interesting right i'm gonna leave it like that and then um come back to this one let's just let's just do that right let's move on to this one 
So this one doesn't have much shell. I think this one's a lost one, so I'm just going to leave it there. Let's do these ones. Pretty, but not like, wow. So I've just flipped this one over so I can try the one on the back. Don't know if it's going to be anything. No. Not bad. So that's that one. And then we've got one left on this piece. So this better be nice because so far they've, they've all turned out nice, but I'm not, I haven't found like the gem. So this is how they've turned out and I've got to say they're not quite the colours I was hoping for. Some are better than others but they're all, I mean they look better with the paraloid on that is for sure. But you can see they're slightly iridescent. This one is definitely, there's two that are like better than the others. Like this one's very fragile but you can see the red in it. Can you see it? In like the outer world. Like this one's got the beautiful colours that I wanted to capture. So I'm going to have to maybe downsize this piece and like sort the crack out, but I don't know if that's just going to break it further. And then this one's also turned out very lovely. We've got the lovely colours in this one here. Just like that. And then there's, there's three on this one. So that's quite a nice piece, I think. So some are definitely better than others and some have the right colours, but that's how it always goes. You just never know until it's back home and you're prepping it. So this one is definitely beautiful, the colours in it. So I'll work on this one at some point to try and get it secure because it's in just a bit of a big wad at the moment, isn't it? But um, yeah, so not too bad. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching me kind of prep these ones. Compared to what they looked like before prep, I think they've turned out really nice. And you can see the iridescent, like this one I think is definitely my favourite because it's You've got three going on, they've all got beautiful colours in their shells, and it's like a nice little piece, like, it's quite a, yeah, just a manageable size to put around the place. This one is my second favourite, but definitely in need of some further work. But um, overall, I mean, the colours in these shells are just beautiful, they're unlike anything really I've found before, so I love the fact that they're, you know, the, the original shell, you're getting that kind of iridescent mother of pearl look, and I just think it's beautiful. Um, so I really like the colours. I think it's called Amalite, Amalite, but I don't know if that is the same stuff as this stuff, but I need to do my research into that. But nonetheless, it's really fun to kind of find and prep because you just never know when you put that paraloid on if it's going to be like gorgeous colours or whether it's just going to be a bit like meh. But um, that's fossils for you, isn't it? You just, you win some, you lose some. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, like and subscribe for more. And my Instagram will be down below. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.